Hello guys and welcome back to Farming Simulator 15 on Cobra Park Farm. Now then, in today's episode, I'm going to be doing quite a lot more whole crop. And, well, for a start, you may have already noticed, looks a bit odd here. I have got a modded trailer, which is absolutely amazing for the silage and that, because it does what everyone would do. It fills it right all the way to the top and above. And plus, we're in a completely different field. We're in field three. I've done eight, uh, no, I've done seven and six. So that is why I am in this field. All right, that lag is horrible. I honestly don't know why it's doing that. Um, but yeah, gonna be doing, but oh, trying to finish this off really. Um, I'm attempting to use my wheel um, with the floppy paddles for forward and backwards, it's sort of working, sort of not. Um, it's really got to watch out. It's kind of, as long as I'm not doing any load of work, it should be fine. As you can probably notice the driving gets a bit better. Right then, let's go to the bias plant. Now then, it's really quite nice using the wheel again, um, but I haven't got the pedals, which is a bit of a pain, um, and they, they won't even send a, a, the replacement part because they don't have one. Even if they did, they wouldn't have done it. Yeah, so it's a bit annoying. Pedals were right off of the wheel. It sort of works. It's not broken. A bit of wobble though. Noticed that recently. It's quite wobbly. It still works well as a wheel. I mean, I'm using the flappy pedals as forward and backwards, but still, it's not ideal. But anyway, it's better driving now. Um, this clamp as well, it's not the fullest either. It's not that. F oh, there's not really much in it. Well, I'd say that the, each trailer like this has 37.8 thousand litres in it. It's no. Well, it's filled up 22%. That's not that much, actually. I'd be expecting quite a lot more. Wrong button. Now this trailer is amazing as well. One of the best modded trailers I've ever seen. It's got multi-functioning tip, so you can either tip it out of the, well, the way that I just did it, so the whole back comes up, or there's a grain hatch at the back. I don't know if you can see. There, that's a grain hatch. Also, beacons on the tractor, when they come on, so does that one there. Indicators, you've got One's on the trailer, one's down there. Brake lights. And plus, the ones on the bottom come on. Where your lights come on. So, this is just, just an amazing trailer. Uh, it's also got interchangeable. Well, you can take the mud flaps off. If you get up to it, put X. You can change the livery from that to that, to that. I like it on this one. You can also change, if you just look at the size of the trailer, you can add a side to side on that side, on that side, or both sides. Um, which button is it? Manure body, grain body, silage body. This trailer has so many features. It's gold standard on FSUK. It's, well, it's just amazing, really. Well done to the people that made it. One of the best ones that I've seen yet. It's got loads of different features as well. Also gets dirty. Um, so I'll have to wash that at some point. But I don't know, it's just a nice trailer. It handles well as well. So mm. I'm actually gonna try it though. I'm gonna put the manure body on and see what it's like with silage. Plus, I'm going to start using this for moving manure, so that big 150,000 litre thing may go. Is this a bit more realistic? 
Oh, so we can tow this up a hill without it struggling. Although, actually, to say, I have got quite a few front weights on there. Quite a few of the blocks, so I don't know. It'd be nice to see, actually, if it does accept it with the manure body on, or and if it alters the capacity. It does, actually doesn't accept it so it has to have the silage side on. Also going to put that thing on so pretty much when you're driving along it means that everything that comes out of that chute if it goes over the well, attempts to go over the side there and it gets stopped by that barrier thing so it yeah, works better. And I'll just swap it every time it goes to a different side. Hmm, apparently the wool sheep have got 100% wool so if I have the JCB down here oh as well a quick thing all the bales have gone I used all of these to feed the cows and a stack for the sheep I'm also going to use a keyboard for when I'm driving tow handler um, but pretty much that whole shed of bales was used to feed the cows and they still didn't have enough to fulfill them for seven days I think it is. So we're gonna have to do a big thing of bales at some point. I'm, part, I'm tempted though to not do any more combining and do the whole thing whole crop. Hopefully we can get a big clump. So I mean that honestly rate that's not getting much it's not getting much uh, capacity out of it really. What am I trying to say? Um, like for the amount that there is, we haven't got a lot of chaff out of it in the trailer. I mean, yeah, there's been a couple of trailer loads, but not, we haven't had that much, which I'm kind of disappointed at really. But then again, it is always too great. So when we think if we're combining, we generally don't get a lot of grain either. Because it's just one of things where it's worth a lot, but there's not much of it. Right, I'm also trying to drill this field with... Oh, that steering wheel makes an odd noise. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to drill this with... Uh, what's it called? Corn, maize. So we're going to do silage in this field. I just don't get this as well, it refuses to reverse even though I'm like all the way out the way there so slightly annoying but oh well, be fine. In fact, let's check as well, what speed is this set to? It's 10, that's, uh, that's good actually because that's what set the cruise control to on here. As well guys, thank you for all the subscribers. I've well, I've looked back and I've, I've been looking through. We've got, I think, 174 at the moment of this recording. And I'm recording this, what day is it? Monday. Monday night at 10 past 9, as the current time is. Um, and it's just unbelievable to see the amount of subscribers that we ha have actually got. To be honest, I never really thought I'd get this many, actually. I saw just be one of the small people. Doesn't get a lot of subscribers. Um, and as well, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial on how to download a mod from FSUK. That was one thing that I've been asked about. So I did do a how to download a mod for FS15, but not directly from a website. I, I did a couple from different websites. And I think it was a bit hard to follow for some people. There was multiple websites in one video. Um, we're pretty much the concepts all the same so I went into a bit more depth FSUK is pretty much a mods, the only mod site that I use now the other ones I can't trust the amount of things that it comes with like uploadfile.eu or something like that I don't really trust them I, I'd like download it f directly from their server which I know is reliable 
fast, no adverts or anything, like you need to wait 30 seconds or 30 hours to download something, it's just directly there. That's the nice thing I like about that website. It's just there. One of the best communities that there is out there as well, because it has the forum. If you haven't become a member of that forum, go become a member. Uh, there might be an annotation on the screen now or something if I can remember to put it on. For you guys that are watching on mobile devices, it might be up in the cards at the top right hand corner, that little I. If I remember, uh, a link to become a member. Um, but yeah, it's a friendly forum. And it's just a nice place to talk about Farming Simulator, really. They also have, for you guys that are fans of Euro Truck, they have an SCS fan website, I think. I think that's the name of it. That's pretty much for that's the same thing, but for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Or, and I think the different Euro Trucks. It's a good, that's a good website as well. Um, I think I'm a member of that as well. And to become a member, it's free as well, so you don't need to worry about paying anything. It's absolutely free. So that's another nice thing. We got a Facebook page, I think. Um, it's just a nice website, really. All the people, if you ask someone a question, they'll get back to you quickly. The forum team are really nice and friendly. It's just a nice place to be. fast actually I think. I reckon this is on the verge, I reckon I'm effectively doing 10.5 in this but that's doing 10.1 so effectively I do end up getting a bit further on than them. Whoever's driving that I'll just call them Bob. Um, right possibly if I have cosplay set up for this I may do the compacting here. I just keep it compact in all I can. Fax control delete that's it. Take that off. What is it? Biogas clamping, I think that's the one. Yes it is, but I did this with that little JCB. In fact I'll have to see what this is like. Uh, control delete. Drive course. What's it gonna do? I will record another course. What is it? Thing. Transfer. I think that's the one I use. Yeah. If I get it to go on this side. I don't know why I'm getting quite a bit of lag as well. That's unusual for me. I'll have to redo that. Massive mess up there. If I was just using my wheel, it's easier.
hopefully that's just gonna do what I need it to do for packs this it's already at 100 but still it's nice that it is just gonna carry on and do it hopefully as long as it goes forward again here it should be fine so we're gonna do that as so we get quite close there actually ah yep yeah, that's good Right, let's go and finish off doing this. Boom, on the side, side, there we go. It was quite relaxing actually doing this because it's just driving alongside. It's, sorry, it's a lot better than uh, leading wheat or corn or something like that because it's just stop and start this is you're actually doing something how full am I I reckon I could possibly get this well I don't know how many more runs I could get a fair few I thought I'm hoping anyway Do any tunes or anything because it's usually copyrighted. I really do like that flashing light on the back there. That's what you see on trailers. An array of flashing lights on the back or something. Alright, if I it's still creeping ahead fairly slowly, but then again, I don't know, but I don't, I'm pretty sure that varies its speed at some point. Honestly, yeah, this trail is amazing. One of the best ones I've ever seen. This. Uh, the, mm, I tried to put a link down below. If I remember to put links in and everything, then I will be a fact. Just grab a bit of paper and I'll write it down. Get this on auto cruise control, whatever it's called, cruise control. Yeah. Um, Go. I've written it down. First time I've actually ever written down anything that I need to know. Oh, hello. There's a red light down there in the bottom right hand corner. That means I have to go get some fuel at some point. I'll do this run and then I'll uh, go get some fuel. Uh, uh, possibly get. Well, I don't know actually. Depends how much fuel this uses. It's 113 litres. Well, when I stopped doing this last night, I did quite a lot this last night off screen. 113 meters. Oh, uh, honestly, don't know. I'm actually hoping as well I can get the rest of this field in this trailer because I think it'd make my life a lot easier if I could. Cow's productivity at 80%. That inspector mod, I think it's inspector or something like that. It's really quite useful. I'd suggest download it or because if you're running a big multiplayer game, for example, you can see what percentage everything's at, what it's got in it. For example, I, I can see that at New Holland, the loader has more 
on the bucket so that's quite useful um, I can also see that that new Holland CR 1090 that's got wheat in it 35% nah I'm sure only a couple of percent in there Plus I need to cram that into what 100% full of that man truck 94 litres uh, plus 4 to 6 percent of this trailer. I'm hoping I can get the rest of this in. And then it's just one more field, and then that's harvest for this time round, which I'm really quite happy about. I'm starting to do drilling as well, which I'm quite happy about because it's the first time I've actually ever started to do drilling right bang after. Well, still haven't finished doing this, but I can do this anytime really. So well, that crone is so useful to have bought. Pain having to hire it every time. Because you, you, you hire it, for example, three hours and you need, what, ten minutes more of it, but you have to send it back. So then you have to hire it again. So much easier owning things. Possibly, though, get something for a day. For example, uh, muck spreaders, they're useful for a day. But I own, I own pretty much all the equipment now. Or, for example, a cultivator seed drill. I don't own a plough though, I possibly get one of them. A three metre cultivator or something of that sort. So I have a feeling it'd be useful. For example, when I did them dirt roads, it's just useful to have some small machinery. Thinking about getting a small tractor as well, something like the Little Dirt, because something small that can just have a little cultivator on it, little plough rather than this massive equip well, equipment that I have at the moment just nice to have uh, I, think, I think it'll probably go for Ch is it Chantry? Uh, yeah, Chantry Farm if I can keep that side of side on last bit of this field and then I've got a tiny field to do next and that's it. I'm hoping I'll possibly actually get that tiny field in, this trailer. I think I'm part well, I'm gonna give this a wash. I'll show you what it looks like when it's clean. And then I'll possibly do the other field off screen. Control F. Right, that's the correct thingy behind. Right. This pipe usually no, didn't. I had it the other day where it went round about three times and then it finally stopped. I'm not gonna get through here. Please oh, just about. How close can I bring this? Left offset, yeah, that's where I need it. Don't shift F. Oh, I'll have to just do another point. 91 litres of fuel left. Although 
you may be saying, oh, that's plenty, but a tractor this big, and for doing what it's doing, it's quite a lot of engine time that's running. It's not like I'm in it, like I'm just leading or something, leading wheat, where I could just turn the engine off and leave it constantly running the engine. I'm tempted to sell some of that equipment there. To be honest, half the equipment I have I don't really need. I just have it because I've got too much money to spend. And I need something to do with it. Thinking about getting some wind turbines as well, it'd be quite a nice change to this area. Possibly a field full of wind turbines. I, mean, I know I have a field full of um, solar panels, but I've forgotten which field I've done with that. Possibly, actually. Uh, hmm, do I go down and have a look? Yeah, for the last bit of this episode, I'll go down and have a look at which field it is. I'm certain it's, a, it's one of the top fields, so like 23 or something like that, 24. One of them, I'm sure it's one of them. 23's got my, uh, what are they called? greenhouses in. There you go guys. That is what a nice clean trailer looks like. But I'm going to get a thumbnail for this video. That. Quite a neat looking setup that. So. Core bike. I'll take the core bike down. I think. Well, hmm. Yeah, why not? It's not that far. Be fine. I need a bigger sheep field. I need like double or quadruple the size of that. Although actually, if it is 24, which I've done them in, I'm convinced now it's not. Which one did I put them in then? I'm sure I've got some though. I'm not going mad, am I? Yeah, okay, I have got some. But the question is, where are they? Let's, let's try 25. The only thing is, I, all I know is they're in the grass fields somewhere. I've passed them once or twice. Okay, not in here. That's starting to worry me. Where did I put them? Um, let's try up at the old dairy place, not dairy, the beef place. I used to have some cattle there. Possibly down the Land Rover actually. I don't know, it was in one of these really short fields, I think. Uh, right, it's starting to worry me now. I should actually know where they are. In fact, it'd help if I knew where they were. So when it comes to think, oh, I'm going to do this field, I'm going to mow that field. And it turns out I can't. And then I don't embarrass myself by doing that. I reckon they're in this field on the right, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Quite neat looking these actually. Whole field of them. As well if they they tilt with the sun as well. Probably have to be a while. Facts. Plank growth is off, plant the is off. Speed up time and you can see them move. I'm pretty sure they move anyway. Wherever the sun goes, these move. Yeah. 
they move like that, you see. And then they reset back to their normal position. Right then. And we've just earned about another £500,000 just from these wind, uh, not wind turbines, solar panels. So a very good investment, I think. You know what? I'm going to buy a wind turbine now. Which field could I do with wind turbines? I want one where I can see them. Um, hmm, where am I now? 26 now. But how about where I spawn in all of the equipment to? Put one there. What? Place of balls. A million pounds though. No one. Oh, that's a lot of money, is that? We'll change the landscape there. Make it look even more interesting than it actually is. Right, and there's my biogas plant, JCB there. <laughs> Where should I put it? So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video, as it really helps, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.